This weekend I'm working in one of the most unique spaces I've ever had the opportunity to get my hands on. We're back in Philadelphia, this time working in Fishtown. And it's an area that's kind of really undergone a lot of transformation in the last few years. A lot of the old factories and warehouses have been converted to these amazing living spaces. And I'm lucky enough to get to work in one this weekend. I'm Monica Mangan, and I believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. I show people how to get Pinterest-worthy spaces that are just right for them. This is unbelievable. Give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. Hi, uh, I'm Karen. I live in this beautiful and unique loft in Fishtown, Philadelphia. I live here with my son, who's three and a half years old. When I first moved to the loft, it was just a one bedroom and I used it. And when I had my son, I gave him my bedroom and I built myself a little loft bed above his bedroom with little stairs going up. To make extra money, I rent my loft through this website called Airbnb. Having the loft renovated would probably make it more comfortable for all the guests. It would be great to work with Monica this weekend and finish it with all the details I've always dreamed of. Okay, so this is the loft. This is amazing. I mean, seriously, it's one of the most unique spaces I've ever had the opportunity to work in. <laughs> so there has to be a backstory here. Tell me how you landed this amazing loft space. So I knew I wanted to look at unique spaces because I'm a photographer and an artist and I love big spaces. So when I was looking for this place, I was single and never thought I would end up as a single mom now, which I am. Life, and life can be fun. Life, yes, <laughs> and my son forgot my room. Okay. And uh, me and a friend built um, a loft bed to go above his room, so we built these raw stairs, and I could put my bed up there, and I have my little office there. So tell me a few of like the challenges that you have in the space. So the challenges are, it's very small, and I would say that the bed is probably too high. Also, the stairs are open, yeah. unfinished, and my son is three and a half, and he loves climbing up there. Style-wise, tell me what you're looking for in loft. I would love this to be like a sanctuary, a place where I can really just really rest and sleep, and just give a finished look to the space. So we'll be focusing this weekend on style, safety, organization, and kind of getting this tranquil space for you. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. We have a awesome. lot of work to do before we can be relaxing and <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> all right, so this is it. Now this is your space? Yes. <laughs> right now all I have here is a bed, a little side table, and my little desk. What's beyond this? It's actually nothing there, just a lot of unneeded things and storage. So what I'd like to do up here is to expand the bedroom into your storage area and to really focus on just making this kind of a space just for you. Yeah, that sounds lovely. The sleeping loft is great and functional, but I actually think we can expand it. At the end of this weekend, I want Karen to feel like this master loft is a place that she can really escape to, and that's also family friendly for her son, Bodhi. So you're probably wondering what in the world we're working on. You think it's a renovation and I have you with coffee cups and bowls, but I want to tackle this staircase, all right? So right now it's completely functional, but it doesn't do much in the way of safety and style, okay? So we're actually gonna divide and conquer on this project. Matt and I are going to build a new stair railing for you, but I'm actually gonna have you create a pattern on every other step going up. We are going to use a tool called a Dremel. It's a rotary tool. We're gonna to be using it to kind of carve into the wood and create our pattern. Okay. Okay, so this is the Dremel. You can sand, you can etch. There's a ton of different things we can do with this. We're gonna be making some little holes with it. This is where the bowls and the cups come into yes. play. I feel like this will be a great shape to make our pattern with. And then we'll practice a little bit here with the Dremel. And then once you're comfortable with it, we'll move on to the stairs. I love using my Dremel for detail projects. It's such a versatile tool and not overwhelming for homeowners to try. I got the right girl for the job. You're doing great. Karen's using a grinding attachment and creating holes along her trace pattern. This will kind of give the stairs an Asian-inspired feel and perfectly tie in with her mural. Little details like this make all the difference. While she's busy detailing the steps, Matt and I are creating a crazy unique but actually simple to build geometric stair rail using 1x3 boards all cut with straight angles. 
This will add safety and cool visual interest to the space. So Karen and I just took down the divider that was between her storage space and her bedroom. She was totally cool with that? She was totally cool with it. And actually she's super excited that it gives her double the space. So I wanna build kind of a railing that goes all the way around. It's going to kind of define the space and also just add a little bit of safety so I don't fall over. All right, sounds good. Sounds good? Okay, build it. We're keeping it really simple here with the railings, using the same one by three wood, but this time running horizontally for a simpler but still modern aesthetic. I feel safer already. So it's Sunday morning. Matt and I are gonna get started on our first project. I sent Karen out for the day. I wanna surprise her with the rest of this space. And first things first, they're gonna be building a platform bed for her new sleeping area. Karen's old bed was too tall for the short ceilings in the loft, so we're gonna keep this bed low profile to save some precious headroom. We're using two by eight boards to basically just build a big box that the mattress will sit into. We're using lag bolts. They're really good for heavy duty building projects. I'm pulling out the Dremel for the headboard to mimic the pattern that we did on the stairs. This is gonna help tie the entire design together. To showcase some of Karen's amazing photography work, I'm painting two wooden outdoor garden trellises, attaching them directly to the wall and adhering bulldog clips onto the trellis so she can swap out her pictures whenever she wants. This is a fun, unique alternative to a traditional gallery wall, and this space is anything but traditional. Privacy was an issue in this sleeping loft, but I came up with a solution using coated wire, a carabiner, and just a couple things you can pick up at Lowe's. Now, she has the option of privacy. After a few more finishing details, the space is really starting to come together. So, what do you think? It's amazing. You're happy? Yes. Oh good, I'm so glad. So happy. You've seen down here, but not everything kind of pulled together. What do you think of the staircase and everything now? I love it. I did not expect this to be black. It's a perfect idea because it really ties up with the mural. And as much as I love the railing, the detailing on the stairs is maybe one of my favorite things too. You picked up the Dremel really quickly. That, that was, was actually easy. really fun to do and very meditative. Was it? Yes. Well, it's a really unique detailing, and I also love that it kind of teases out what's to come mm -hmm. upstairs. All right, well, are you ready to see the upstairs? So ready. Okay, let's go. Ready? Oh! <laughs> wow. What do you think? I love it. Isn't it? It's so me! <laughs> this is perfect. Can you believe how much bigger it seems? It's I mean, you doubled and you built a bed <laughs> from did. scratch. From scratch. And I have a little living room here. You do. And look, there's the detailing. I used the Dremel to add a little detail oh, to the headboard. I see that. That is so cool. <laughs> I just feel like you needed a place that was closed off where you could kind of just breathe and have a little space. <laughs> That's amazing. I love this. Well, thank you for coming out this weekend. Of course. It was so quick. Yes, we got a lot done in two days. <laughs> I can't believe it. It was a real makeover. This is a true definition of a makeover. Jesse and Lara followed their dream of opening a barbecue restaurant in town. And when they bought the restaurant, with it came the house that they're currently living in. So building the actual frame for the table is the easy part. Now is where I want to customize it, but it's going to be a little tricky. <laughs> Are you loving The Weekender? Be sure to catch all 10 episodes by subscribing to the Lowe's channel on YouTube and download the Lowe's TV app for all your streaming devices. For project details, step-by-step -step guides for every episode, visit lowes.com slash The Weekender. Thanks, guys.